Good morning, Buckeye Nation Outdoors. Buckeyes won last night. It was a pretty good game. They uh, surprisingly beat Michigan's number one defense, which I didn't think we'd do. Um, so hats off to them. I was surprised after we had trouble with Maryland and Nitty Lions, Penn State, which Penn State I love. They got a great program. Um, they're going to be a force to be reckoned with next year. So. Um, yeah, so we're headed to the trap line. Um, we got a spot up here I'm going to check real quick. I set in a culvert. It's a pond that goes into a drainage ditch under the road and into a bunch of cattails. And uh, in the past, I've caught up to like eight muskrats in a day and a half there. So um, I just got a colony trap on the bridge. So we're going to check that out. And then we're going to go to a new spot, and I'm going to show you the setups. And uh, it should be a good day. Um, I've got a few other traps to check, but so far, not so good. But I haven't been skunked yet, so we'll see what happens. I'll uh, catch you guys at the water. Thanks, guys. Well, so far, not so good. This morning's been kind of a rough morning well we got a coon at least we got something this pocket set has caught three coon in it he was caught good too All right, well, we'll get this reset. This is a pocket set for pocket set for me, but I take coon too. It's not a very big one, but I'm not gonna let him go to waste. And then we're gonna move on to the next. All right, so right here, you got a feeder stream coming in. It narrows down, it's flooded, you can't really see it. But when this is down, it's only about six inches across. And I put a bottom edge set right down on the bottom of it. And there's a rat. So, not bad. So what you do is, I don't know if you can see it right there. It's a small channel. You just put your one tenner in your colony. Usually a leaves will clog up a colony in a current this quick. But if it's a slower current, you can set it down in there and do pretty good. So, one of my favorite sets here. Gonna move on. All right, so here we are at another spot. It's um, it's the water's up, so it's hard to really explain these sets right now. On this side, there's a pocket set for mink, and on this side, where this little bend is, right there, there's a bottom edge set. So the bank undercuts, and you drop your 110 or your colony trap down under that undercut, and uh, when the water Kind of rises or mink or muskrat are traveling they're you know muskrats feel safety mink kind of hunt but they also just kind of go with the current along the edge of the bank so i have this staked right here but it was staked down below too there's another rat so we'll get him out of there and get this reset all right, moving on down the line. Now, I don't know if you guys can see this or not. Probably not. But there is a monster muskrat hole out about 12 foot off the bank. Um, I'm going to try to get in there and set it with a colony trap right here. So, let's see how I do. I'm gonna have to turn the camera off. Well guys, um, I was hoping I'd get to show you how I was setting it up, but it was real muddy. 
Um, but I'm getting ready to pull out of this pond and the sun's laying just right this morning and I never really walked across this side. Well, I found 15 muskrat holes within four feet apart of each other. So I gang set it a bunch of deep runs. I got some colony traps in there. So, um, tomorrow I'll show you the set, show you what it looks like, what the catches are. Um, and I'll take the camera down in with me because the colony should clear the holes out. So thanks to everybody that subscribed and tuned in. I appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed, hit the like button, share. Um, thanks everybody. Tight chains. I hope you have a good day.